This is how I label my child's clothing for school or for summer camp. I use HTV Rond, which is heat transfer vinyl paper. It is printable type of paper. It's basically like a sticker type of paper, but it will iron onto your clothing or to any type of fabric. I have a mixed pack of light fabrics and dark fabrics because you never know which one you need. And it's very easy to use. You print it and then you will just use an iron to apply it to your any piece of fabric or the clothing. What I like about it is that it already comes with a few of the parchment papers to allow you to have that nonstick surface like a pressing paper and very easy self-explanatory instructions. Um, I always recommend following the manufacturer's instructions. You would just print whatever you would want on this and then apply it to the shirt. And I'll show you how it uh, wears after having it washed a few times. I printed three rows of my child's name. Each row is a half an inch apart. And after that, I cut them apart. I use the striped ruler. Uh, you can also purchase a stripology ruler. This is just not that. This is uh, just an off brand, but you can use a quilting ruler as well. It'll just take you a little bit more time. The ruler that I use has increments half an inch apart. So basically has one slot every half an inch. So it makes it very easy. I just lined up the his names uh, with one of those rows and then I used my rotary cutter to cut through those slots. I will link this ruler in the box below. Uh, I will also link the Creative Grid Stripology ruler. So as you can see, I'm just using my rotary cutter and going through each and every one of those slots all the way and then cutting the other pieces in three uh, would be very, very easy after that. After I finish cutting each individual tab, I'm going to apply them to his clothes. I choose to put them on the inner part of the leg because it's easier to put a small iron in there. So you just simply take off or peel off the label and just apply it wherever you want on the piece of clothing. I use a piece of parchment paper, the same type of parchment paper that you would use in the kitchen. I just used a very small piece to cover and I'm also using a very small iron and this makes it very easy to get into those tight spaces. This is the reason I didn't put on his pants by the label on top by the uh, waistband because it's very uh, difficult for me to insert an iron. But once you iron it on, just be careful, it might be a little bit hot. As you can see, it's a little bit stretchy. Yes, it'll crack a little bit, but it does not come off no matter how hard you try. So I'm speeding up through me applying it onto a few of his t-shirts. On some of them, I chose to put them by where the actual label is. On others, I put them on, on the bottom, on the seam line. This is just a really fun way for them to find their names inside their clothes as well. After washing it a few times, this is what the label looks like. As you can see, it wrinkled with the fabric as well. It did not come off at all. It still has a very little bit of the stretch, but you cannot see that from the outside of the piece of clothing. And it's on pretty much secure. The ink stayed on. I didn't have to do anything. On this particular red t-shirt, somehow the red came through, but it does not bother me at all. As long as his name is still visible, I know the tag will be there. Thank you for watching and subscribe.